Well, you can see I'm on the other side of uh, 55 and you can kind of see the brewery right up there. And uh, but man, they spent some money on this trail. I can't imagine how much it costs to put these bridges in. And uh, this is about the fourth one on this trail because it is kind of swampy, you know, on either side. And I'm sure that's one of the reasons they haven't put in any mountain bike trails. But uh, you could just kind of zigzag this uh, this uh, this trail with some mountain bike trails. Like, you know, like you couldn't put, put them over there, but I don't know if, if you went up a little higher, you know, maybe not through here, be all that great. But there were some woods back there that, that I thought would have been good. But you can see this bridge is going into the next bridge. So this is this is really cool. Uh, they put the money into it. It's a shame that they couldn't leave more of that. Hey, there's a that's one thing I was gonna comment on is there's no bathrooms and I haven't found one. And I'm not sure that's supposed to be part of the trail, but or how I would get over there. Huh. Triangle maybe it's I don't know if that building's under construction maybe. Who knows? But uh yeah, that's one thing missing on this trail that I haven't been able to find a bathroom. And you know me, bathrooms. I had a rough night last night. Well, I was able to navigate it. Boy, thank God that was a good good moment for me. Otherwise, I got the toilet paper in the backpack. I would have had to hole up in the woods at some point. But uh, like I said, I'd been pretty clean uh, anyway. So yeah, you just kind of had to come around here. And uh, you see the water down here and then just hike up to there. All right, let's get uh, let's keep on going. I'm going to do a shameless promotion here when I see something unique, uh, besides a porta john, <laughs> and uh, shamelessly promote uh, three upcoming videos that I'm going to do. And uh, let's just keep on going. By the way, finally I got the sweatshirt off. But it feels good to just have a short sleeve shirt on because I got out here with an early start today. So uh, I was pretty cold this morning, but it's warming up now. Let's get back on the trail. So here's a nice touch. I, the bottle theory has put a little path in to get up to their parking lot. So if you're coming down the uh, the trail here, you could always just pull in there and get you some wine and some beer. But let's get uh, get on the trail. I got a runner coming. Don't want to get her face on the video. Just kind of show you. But we're coming up on another uh, walkway and there's a guy coming down it. But man, they, they put some money into this trail, didn't they? With all these walkways. All right, let's cut off right there. So now that that guy's gone past, let's uh, shamelessly promote some upcoming videos. I might do a short video on Simply Safe because uh, I got two more cameras I'm going to put in at the house, outdoor cameras with the solar panels, and might do a you know talk about that, talk about uh, the uh, the rest of the security system that I put in at, at, at my mom's house, uh, in, and and uh, then. Uh, I'll probably get another video at Sweetbriar College. We'll do a hiking video there and then one more on Liberty Mountain and then I'm heading home to Florida. Mom's settled in or all her bills are taken care of. So we, you can see it's a pretty popular trail here in Cary. We've got people coming in. So we'll cut off right there but I did want to give you the view to the side. You know very nice. Although you know to the right here you know you are just looking at uh, civilization. So. But let's get to the left here. Let's just pause for just a second. Oh, that's quite beautiful. Really nice uh, that the carry could preserve this for the uh, the people of the city. So walking along on the bridge. I always like to see the streams flowing by, you know. But you know, it's not uh, it's not like you know the feel that you're back in the forest, you know, like you did on the uh, the other side of 55 there, because there's the road right there. So you are getting some car noise and whatnot and that uh but i tell you they got these wooden bridges in here i can't imagine i keep commenting on it uh you know it's uh, a lot of this trail is not just pavement i mean it's these wooden bridges and uh, they do have the slippery when wet signs so i imagine when it rains you know if you're riding a bicycle uh, you could you could probably wouldn't want to be on these wooden bridges you know unless you're taking it easy and you know whatnot uh, i don't know what all this is maybe that's a privacy curtain there for for the houses back there uh, like i said it's a shame they couldn't preserve at least from here to the road you know and kept, kept it all natural but uh you know i'm sure that uh they put felt like they put enough money into this project so anyway and then uh, you know the woods uh to the left here um, which that seems kind of weird to me why not run the trail further back in there somewhere i don't know maybe first there must have been some reason for it well let's just keep on going 
this is a nice touch you see how it's doing the zigzag that's pretty cool all right let's keep going boy it's funny speak there's the privacy fence there's the zigzag and you shall receive looks like we're heading back into the woods again isn't that pretty all right let's cut off right there so the walkway kind of looped down into the woods and then came up by well it looks like an apartment complex here and then uh, here's some concrete and I think we're coming up on another bridge so you can kind of see that uh, it's not as pretty as it was on on the other side there but uh, anyway let's uh, let's get a view of the bridge here I got somebody passing me real quick and uh, so there you go lots and lots of trash cans out here um, of course in doggy bags uh, so this is uh, well it says it's the American Tobacco Trail and this is Oak Haven Lane where, wherever that is to the to the left to the right here so uh green level church road all right so let's uh so now we're heading back onto another wooden wooden bridge man they put some money into this thing Whew. all righty let's, let's keep going i'm gonna probably have to turn around here soon it's i'm way out here and uh you know mainly hiking a long long hike today because i had a boy i had a rough night last night my stomach was doing flips after drinking a few beers watching the basketball game between duke and carolina and and then of course we got pizza and the pizza was good but man, it was just too much for my stomach to handle all right so i'm still on american tobacco trail whatever that means and uh you can see we got two connectors here one coming in from that neighborhood and then the other coming in well, it looks like it goes on back there a ways, and there's a wooden bridge. You know what, let's go down this trail. It's a side note, because, uh, you know, another comment on the trail here is uh, this, at least this portion of the, con the trail is concrete. And I don't know about you, but, man, when I walk for a long ways on concrete, it gets to hurting my feet. And so my feet are hurting right now just a bit. See, now, now we're on asphalt, and I don't know why, but asphalt always seems a little softer on my feet. Uh, yeah, see, it's just going into a neighborhood there. You can see the, boy, that's a big house, isn't it? I wonder who owns that. Ooh, but, okay, so we don't need to hike down that. So I'm gonna continue on a little further on this concrete, but I wanted to show you where we were. Maybe I can figure out by, let's see, we're stopping, well, there's Oak Haven, Oak Haven Lane, Beckwith Road, and of course, heading that way, going back the way we came is the Green Level Church Road. So let's put this, uh, we'll just keep on going here. It's, uh, I mean, that's a, it's a nice trail, I mean, for the city. Um, I, you know, it's a treasure for the city, actually. And, uh, boy, I tell you, this looks like a lot of recent work. I don't know when this was actually built. I'd have to ask my buddy here and care and see what he has to say. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm looking at that sign way, way back. I thought, shoot, I mean, it didn't seem like the trail would go very far this direction, but... I, I'm, I'm glad I, I haven't come to an end of it. I, maybe I can drive up here and connect to that, watch the video and say, okay, but I'm not gonna be here that long, Carrie. I think I'm here, well, well one more day for sure to watch the finals. Uh, don't really care too much but uh, about the two teams involved, but you know, it is the NCAA finals, so you might as well uh, you know, watch it. And I'm hoping, hoping my stomach will get better and I can have a beer, but right now I can't drink anything. Hell, I can't even eat anything. But uh, hopefully that'll uh, clear up today. A lot of times when I get out on a long hike, it'll clear up that nonsense. Okay, let's keep going. So I just came off of that wooden trek. You know, just hiking next, basically next to a neighborhood and uh, you know, back onto the concrete here. Um, so it's, it's still going, you know, that, that's good. Uh, but you know, I mean, this is, uh, you almost feel like you're just walking a sidewalk through a neighborhood at this point, but, uh, maybe, uh, maybe we'll get some good views up ahead. Uh, like I said, it's a shame the city couldn't have preserved some of this here and kept it more, uh, more of a wooded trek, you know, even, even if you just went back that way about, I don't know, you know, maybe a couple thousand yards, you know, that would have been enough. Uh, but I know they, they need the tax revenue, and these people pay a lot of taxes here in Cary, North Carolina. I can guarantee that. All right. So I got thought this was rather strange. It took a real loop away from the neighborhood here. Now, I don't know if they're planning on more construction closer to the path right here, but now it's just looping right back 
next to the uh, buildings. So that's uh, circ I'll call that the circle back socket, circle back socket. That's a portion of the trail. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. We're coming up past the last house and looks like we're gonna go back into a forest, uh, which looks very nice. Uh, by the way, this trail does get a lot of activity. Another problem with Cary, North Carolina is, man, I'm gonna tell you, it is tough finding a radio station to listen to. Lots of, uh, well, I mean, it is Sunday, but still, even, even on a weekday, it's lots of religious stations. Uh, my buddy, uh, he, he just does Sirius Satellite, and I can understand why. So, all right, let's, uh, but th isn't this a pleasant surprise? I do see it looks, looks like a house up here, so it might not be in the woods very long. Well, this looks like as good a place as any for me to turn around. So it looks like a parking area. The trail looks like American Tobacco Trail keeps going this way. This is, well, maybe if I look up Cloverdale Road, we could drive out here, maybe. I, boy, I just saw two deer and I was trying to get them on the video and I think that, uh, well, I see this guy over here. He might be still seeing him. He just looks like he's getting a video over there. But uh, I want to go down here. This looks like a n nice swimming pool. And uh, let's go over there and just see what that is. It looks like uh, maybe it's a, you know, a swimming pool. It looks like the trail just keeps on going. So I'm going to turn back at this point. Those look like uh, post office boxes. I don't know what post office boxes are doing out here in the middle. Of, well, it's kind of nowhere. I mean, you know. We're in the city, but uh, boy, doesn't this look like a nice facility? I wonder, uh, you know, it's a shame, you know, that they've ripped out all the diving boards. I, that was my favorite thing to do at the swimming pool, you know, was hit the diving board. And then, you know, of course, the lawyers got involved. Lawyers, lawyers and politics ruin everything, don't they? Well, let's check it out. Well, I don't know. I guess it's a pool for the neighborhood. I do like the chairs. I mean, that's pretty nice man and then the pool is closed and uh well, there's a piece of mail there from adt but that's what the pool looks like nice and clean but uh i mean i guess you could play some water volleyball in there but well what else would you do in this swimming pool now i saw a person see him over here they were, came came from that way so it looks like the trail just goes so i don't know if i'll get a chance to come back here but if we could drive down to cloverdale and, and park in that parking lot you know, this is, uh, boy, I tell you, I don't know if there's any gas in these grills, but <laughs> you can always come here and uh, let's see if there's any gas in here. I'm just curious. Let's, let's see if you can open it. Yeah, you can open it. Uh, oh, it's just connected to natural gas. I don't know. I'm not going to cut it on, but, you know, I wonder how they probably got the main valve shut off. So... Alrighty, well that's it for today. Uh, boy, look, they got a little nice fireplace here. Boy, that'd be kind of nice to come in here and have a fire. Uh, I just kind of a weird facility, and I was like, going, why in the world is a swimming pool doing right here? Um, you know, I'm surprised it's uh, it is April. I mean, I'm surprised it's not open. You know, uh, I mean, it's too cold to, to swim, but you know, you could hang out here and do some grilling and enjoy a fire. But uh, Anyway, uh, it was a good hike. I got my stomach's doing flips, man. I can tell you, I, I might uh, might be partaking of that uh, facility on the way home that I hit on the way out. So you guys peace out and stay free. Let's do the, uh, the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates. No mask requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. Peace. Just wanted to get the flowing water as we finish off the day. Check this out. This is where we got in. Came in on the uh, trail. It's called uh, Bowers, B-O-W-E-R-S, Bowers Lane. And it's basically just a sidewalk right between these two houses. And... Uh, quite beautiful to have this right behind your house wouldn't it so alrighty that's it for today so I'm back on the uh, White Oak Creek uh, Cary North Carolina Greenway and uh, we've gone this direction all the way to the end uh, where it hits the tobacco road uh, and I'm hoping to do that uh, 
this we're entering at Bowers Lane. Now we've gone to the right at Bowers Lane. So now I'm going to go to the left. I've got somebody jogging in here. Let's show you off to the side what it looks like. Uh, so <clears throat> it's quite the uh, beautiful hike. I haven't gone this direction now. Uh, uh, my, my buddy, uh, he told me, he said that uh, it's not going to be as pretty going this direction as it was going the other direction. But <clears throat> as, as you'll see uh, in the previous video, um, the, uh, the trail did come up near the houses. So I could see, you know, where it kind of dips through the community, um, which is good. Uh, and of course, my buddy was telling me, you know, that uh, there's trails all through Cary, North Carolina. But uh, boy, I tell you, the price of housing here has gone astronomical. <clears throat> so it'd be awful hard to uh, come here and live. But uh, anyway, the residents here, may one of them may someday in, uh, in the next hundred years watch one of my videos. But uh, and also I uh, apologize to my viewers, all five of them. Um, the, uh, the video was washed out because of the bright sunlight. Now I've checked my sharpness, it's set on medium, and I've checked uh, all my settings, uh, and according to what I've, I've learned on YouTube, uh, everything is set the way that it should be. Now maybe I could turn it down just a little bit. Maybe I'll watch some uh, YouTube videos tonight uh, to see you know, what I should be doing on an extremely bright sunny day, which is what we've got again today. So this video, I thought maybe there were, might have been a fingerprint on the lens or something. I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense to me. I did want to point this out uh, yesterday was, you know, you see these fences, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, they look nice. I mean, you know, but it, I, I think they're just stupid. I mean, what do they think, that somebody's going to run and jump in the creek right here? Well, they could do that just past the fence right here, you know? Now, yeah, and you can see that uh, obviously there's a path worn beside the fence. I, I guess what it is is people like to come. Hell, let's just do it. That's why I said that fence is dumb. <laughs> see, I bet people come down here, probably the kids... And I, uh, man, when I was when I was young, we would we would hunt crayfish, man, and that was uh, that was that was a thrill. You see all the footprints and everything. So uh, and so you look in here, and you know what you do is you look around for crayfish, like that rock right there. You probably you know have your your uh, well, you, you kids, you know, you're barefoot, but uh, I'd have my sandals on and just overturn that rock and those rocks right there. And you know, a lot of times there's crayfish in there. Now I I don't know, you know, in today's world. Uh, you know how many crayfish but the water looks nice and clean and clear so uh, anyway let's get on the trail uh, we're gonna walk it all the way well hopefully to the uh, to the end today on this side and that'll finish off the uh, carry uh, white oak uh, green greenway you know and uh, that'll uh, and so and then hope maybe later today because uh, uh, unfortunately my the guy, the person I'm staying with, uh, they they actually have to work for a living. <clears throat> I can't call this work. I mean, to me, this is just fun. And uh, so, so that's another thing. <laughs> if we got somebody coming, I'm going to roll it off to the side because I did want to come in on this. I, have you ever been on that golf vacation where you know you got a limited amount of time, but you got to you got to play 36 holes of golf a day, and by the by the time the last day. <laughs> <laughs> rolls around you can hardly swing the golf club you know and uh so it's uh that's kind of where i'm at at this point i've i've been hiking for well i don't even remember when i got here and uh so i've been hiking every day because i'm trying to get in as much of um a carry north carolina as i possibly can and man i am just beat the heck up i mean you know it's uh you can tell i'm not moving very fast today yesterday i was moving in a good clip Maybe I'll pick it up as, uh, as because it is kind of st still early morning and uh, I'm a little bit stiff right now. But uh, all play and, all play and uh, no work uh, makes Johnny a sore person. <laughs> maybe, maybe I need to change that saying, huh? Oh my goodness, my body is sore. Look at all the people out here at, at this time of morning. This greenway gets a lot of use. Uh, but you know, you see what you see what he's saying. There's houses right there, right, right on the greenway. All right, let's, let's, I'll get a clip when I see something unique. So I thought this was unique. Uh, we're hitting underneath the uh, NC Highway uh, 55. Now, I, I think in a previous video, I commented that I went under Highway 55. It was obviously another road, but this is a nice uh, little tunnel here. Look at the look at the aqueduct there. What do you want to call it? A tunnel for the water. Uh, 
So I always love going into tunnels like this, man. Isn't this cool? And uh, but so that's uh, I, so I was wrong. I could, but that's a correction. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go back and redo that video. Um, hello, hello. <laughs> I love that echo, isn't it? All right, let's uh, let's keep going. So now I've, I'm on just on the other side of uh, NC. Uh, Highway 55, we were just in the tunnel and I wasn't planning to cut the video on so quickly. A nice touch, there's a bench, I always like to point those out. But I guess there's another trail here called the NC 55 Street Side Trail, which I guess just kind of runs by 55. So we're gonna continue on the greenway. Here comes another person hiking. And uh, so we're just gonna go straight and keep on the green, green side trail. Okay, I didn't know what this was, but evidently it's a, it's a, it's a venting post for the sewer because the sewer is right there but I, I got that saw that bird and I wanted to get the bird on there plus this unique uh, venting system look at that bird isn't he cool he's gonna look how close he's gonna let me get oh there he goes all right so anyway that, I saw that and I was going like what in the world are they got a I thought maybe it was a pump for a well where you could get some water while you're hiking on the trail look at some of the houses here in Cary <laughs> man, man. I bet those are million dollar houses right there holy moly look over here yeah oh all right, so, uh, but I, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the hike. Uh, you know, like, like uh, my buddy said, uh, you know, we are kind of, you're just in a neighborhood with a, a kind of a greenway trail going through. And uh, uh, so uh, it's pretty good. good. Good Lord, I, you know, I think all communities should have this right through the heart of the community so that you can get around on a bicycle wherever you want to go. That's what we had in uh, Reston, Virginia, by the way. That's a, that was a very, uh, it was a planned community. And that's kind of what we need, uh, you know, because, you know, now that Detroit has been destroyed, it would be nice if they would go back and build uh, planned community. I mean, of course, if we're in a Democrat state, you know, no, no Democrat's going to plan a community. They don't know anything about that. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, you could go back and put some, uh, here comes a person on a bike. Like I told you, this is an extremely well-traveled trail. Uh, but, you know, you could go back and put some bike trails all, through all, all throughout tr Detroit because they've torn down so many buildings now and they're trying to uh, limit the infrastructure because, you know, they can't support all of it because the tax revenue, I mean, when you only have a quarter of the population you had 10 years ago. And see, here's another little entrance to the trail. But uh, he's right, the houses are right on the trail. Here's some more houses in Cary. And this might be the end up here. Who knows? I'm, I'm, looks like I'm coming up to a road. Let's, let's see what happens. Okay, we're going to get a great hike in today. I don't know how far I'm going to get with my body being the way it is. But you can see we just crossed 55. And this is this was a sign on the other side. By the way, the first time the uh, trail has just gone across the top of a road rather than have a tunnel. Um, so it just looks like we're just going to keep, but look how far it keeps going. We're, I don't, I don't know if I can get all that in today. Although that doesn't look that far. 0.8. That's that's one mile. That's two, 2.1 miles. That's going to be about. Uh, well, yeah, we'll get the whole thing in. So we'll finish it all the way up to this parking lot right here, and that'll be it for the uh, the White Oak Greenway here. All right, so let's get going. Here's another house. Uh, so here comes another person. Well, I tell you, the trail gets a lot of use, and this is on a this is on a work day. So this is unique. Uh, look how the trail's doing. So you're going across a bridge, you're gonna cross that creek we've been walking beside. And then it comes up here and it does a, uh, a loop, a turn to the left. And then of course you have another entrance way right here from the uh, community. So I just wanted to show you, you know, I love it. I love it when these trails wind around like this, you know, rather than just going straight on. So, you know, but, uh, and then, you know, it's nice that they've got these entrance ways from the communities. Let's keep on going.